off of turn number four, the field thunders as they come off of turn number four. Green flag is out. We're underway. Mitchell and Casper race off of turn number four, side by side at the top of the field. Lap number one up on the board as they come across the stripe. Mike Mitchell slides up high in front of Casper, and that leaves the door open for Benoit. Benoit fading back, though, as Mike Rotundo with the run down the back stretch. Sparks dumping out the under underneath of the 47 momentarily. Mike Mitchell at the point. Kevin Casper chasing him down. Hardly a car length between the two of them. Look at Kevin Casper send it down to the inside. Oh, just squeezes beneath the number 40. And just like that, we're back double wide to the first several rows. Off the corner they come. Kevin Casper with a crossover move down to the inside. Takes the lead down the back straightaway. And he has Dick Benoit on his tail. They roll off of turn number four. It is Casper setting the pace. The 47 sits second as they come off of turn number Number two, Mitchell back to third as they hit the stripe. Mike Brightman with the tough go half a lap ago was able to gather the reins back on that thing as he's under attack from the number 46. Brightman, yeah, having a real hard time. Dylan Estrella going to look to the inside this time. And that's uh, uh, the zero Kenny Spencer having to back way out of that situation as that was definitely starting to get real spicy. He's now battling to the inside. Oh, Mark Jennison gets tagged in the left rear by the two of Scully as the field dives through three and four. Down off the corner they come and Kevin Cass is your leader. Second place is Dick Benoit. Mike Rotundo is third. Fourth is the 27 of Brightman, but here comes Estrella. Dives down to the inside of Mike Mitchell as they come to three and four. First out of third position, still between Estrella and Darling. That's for fifth. Estrella slides down in front and shuts the door on Darling. Darling, though, poised to look for a way by. Thought about it inside. Backed out. Settled for Another half a lap as he now got a look up top as they unwind off the of two. Mike Mitchell backsliding on the top side is dropped out of the top ten now as they hit turn three. Darling down to the inside of Estrella. Battle for fifth off the corner. Don't even at the stripe as they head down it to turn number one. Casper about a two-car length advantage over the field with Dick Benoit. The birthday boy celebrating in second. The 48 of Mike Rotundo sits third down into turn number one. Field settling out in a single file for now. You have to go all the way back to Rick Martin in 11th, who's double wide with Colby Fournier. That battle for 11th raging on as they look to swallow up Mike Mitchell as Mike Mitchell continues to struggle with the handles on that thing. Back towards the top, though. Battle for fourth is on between Darling and Brightman. Dave Darling using that inside lane and a patented move that he has mastered over the past 17 years in the post stocks has worked his way up into the fourth position. Trouble for Brightman as a back end snaps out from underneath him and the high tech automotion number 27 sits the wrong way on the back straightaway. The 40 of Mike Mitchell had come to a halt up in turn number two and we are slowed up for the first time. 13 laps are complete out of the 55. A really different monster to drive one of these than a pure stock. He dabbled a little bit in the sportsman division, but moved up to the pro stocks, and a lot of people said, whoa, the kid doesn't have the experience. But you know what? He's been patient, he's been learning, he's been driving the car to its ability, not his ability. And that's been the difference there. The Bristol Toyota Pace Truck pulls down to the infield, heading pit side. We are ready to go off of turn number four. Kevin Casper and Dick Benoit ready to bring the field off of turn number four. Brightman just making it back out. We're back underway as Brightman and Casper race wheel to wheel off of turn number two. Casper and Benoit do battle down into three. They come back across towards the stripe and Casper's going to lead another one. Dick Benoit though hanging tough. Darling though waiting in the catbird seat. Going to see how this one plays out at the point. Double wide from the fourth on back. Kenny Spencer up on the outside of Mike Rotundo trying to work himself up towards the top of the field. He is up to fourth. He has Bobby Pelland right behind him. Bobby started back in the 14th spot. Casper is off the corner. Benoit takes a lead. Here comes Darling to the outside. Yeah, Darling to the outside is Casper back up to speed. Now dealing with the zero of Spencer as now Casper's clamoring to hang on for third. Kenny Spencer zooms on by Mike Rotundo next to the line on the outside. Whoa, Kenny Spencer really loose off of four. Going to be a little bit of a stack up going down in the one. Kenny Spencer 
What a save. That thing was looking all the way in down to the infield. Spencer only shuffling back to fifth with that. And amidst all that, we got a two-horse race for the lead. Dave Darling down to the inside. No surprise there. And at lap number 19, he's going to find himself at the top of the field. Here comes Benoit trying to make a pass back down to the inside. He doesn't have the room. And Darling is gone. Benoit back to the second. Third is the 48 of Rotundo with Pelland in fourth. Spencer rounding out the top five a little deeper in the pack as Casper starts to backslide. Scully moves up a spot. He is up inside the top ten, up into eighth now. Scully continues to charge towards the front as he tries to win the namesake of his father here at the Tom Scully Memorial. He looks to the inside of Jeremy Lilly. That battle for seventh. And he has the momentum, and he's going to make quick work of that pass on the number three as Scully now in seventh as they wrap off of four. Tom is on a mission trying to work himself up through the field. We are 22 laps into this one out of 55. Takes a look to the inside of Dylan Estrella down the back straightaway. Settles in right behind as they hit turns three and four. Jeremy Lilly sits ninth out on the grid having a good run. For him. He has been struggling this year. Battle for second. Mike Rotundo down to the inside of Dick Benoit. Benoit goes around in the middle of the field, down into three and four. Everybody scrambles. No contact is made. And the caution flag waves for the second time. Wow, Benoit with a total 360 there. And good heads up driving by the field. Specifically, Dylan Estrella. He was, he was coming up on that, closing in quickly. And the cars in front of him kept going up and up the track stomped on the brakes no real hard collision between anyone and we're under yellow for the second time and Mike Rotundo is running right there with the best of them fastest lap of 13-0 four thousandths faster than your leader Dave Darling well it's easy to go fast it's hard to go fast around traffic and that's the biggest thing that he's had to learn and adjust to field is set looking for the green off of turn number four up on the throttle we're back underway and Darling gets the jump here comes Pelly fills the hole down to the inside, looking for second as they come off at turn number two. Rotundo a little slow on the jump there. That allows Dave Darling to jump right out to in the front. Bobby Pellin filling in the hole right underneath. Rotundo gets by him. That's for second. Dylan Estrella. Oh, Bobby Pellin loose on a hard hit down the back straight away. Kenny Spencer up in the wall. Tom Scully Jr. involved. The 92 of Billy Brody's got some damage. The 16 of Colby Fournier was involved as well. That's going to be the 47 of Dick Pinoit. Lights are off. The field is set. Green flag will wave this time by. Tim Bulldog lets the green flag unleash. And we're back racing. In through turns one and two. It is Darling setting the pace. Pellin sets in for second. Takes a look down to the inside. Dylan Estrella up to third. Here comes Pellin down low. Looking for the lead down into turn one with Darling up on the outside as they come off at two. Bobby Pellin really looking to cash in on this opportunity he has to race with Darling. He knows he's got to give it his all right now. He can't let Darling get the clear track. And right now, Bobby Pellin is doing everything to interfere. He's got inside position, got the nose to the left rear well. Can't quite get much more alongside as Darling with a real good run down the front stretch. Yeah, David looking strong on the outside as they come through turns one and two, holding off Pellin. Pellin has to settle in back behind, down the back straightaway. 28 laps complete, 27 remain as they come off of turn number four. And again, Pellin takes a look to the inside. Darling shuts the door. Well, we watched that battle. One driver moving up into the top five is Darrell Stanford in the number one. Unwinding off of turn four, and the field starting to stretch out single file. Single file through the first nine cars, and they're starting to bunch up back, beginning with Rick Martin. He leads a pack of about five or six cars. Rick Martin trying to fend off Jennison for seventh as Jennison takes a look to the inside. Can't quite get a nose in. Going to have to settle back behind the 14 as they dive through three. Into three and four. Jennison right on his bumper with Kevin Casper in tow. Dick Benoit running the outside lane. Here comes Mike Brightman to fill the hole down on the inside as they come off at turn number two. That is a battle deep in the field. And a battle for third starting to heat up. Mike Rotundo and Dylan Estrella running nose to tail there off of turn number two. 
while Daryl Stanfield tries to close in the gap. Great run for Daryl Stanfield here. Coming off another great run two weeks ago as he's fifth in the running order in his rear view, Jeremy Lilly, also with the strong run in that number three machine. Yeah, yep. Lilly closing right in on the one of Stanfield, trying to get back up into the top five as they hit the stripe at lap number 34. As deep in the field, they get the warning. Jennison, Casper, Brightman, all in a fight for a position right behind Rick Martin. Here comes Rotundo down on the inside of Estrella, down into turn number one. Rotundo continuing to try and make a season best finish here in the Pro Stocks. He still has his nose to the inside, pulls up alongside to the numbers of the 46. Still has the inside as they dive off of turn two. They climb up the hill down the back stretch, and they haven't moved an inch since the last two laps as Estrella continues to hold off Rotundo. Rotundo working that inside lane, trying to get that forward up into the podium off of turn number two with Estrella, hanging up top. Mark Dowling is checked out. No surprise there. Pellin strong in that second position. Right now, the race is for third between Estrella on the outside. Rotundo down low. Estrella has the advantage off of four. Which car going to blink as Rotundo just slightly gets into the 46. Pulls right up alongside now. Dead even as they go through one and two. Oh, they touch again off of two. Estrella with a big deep dive down into two. And Estrella starts to slip back. Sets up the crossover maneuver. Around goes Rotundo. Rotundo going around and... The one of Stanfield, nowhere to go, makes contact there on the front straightaway. 12 cars left, 17 entered, 16 laps to settle it. Off of turn number four, here they come up on the throttle again. Dowley brings the field down into one, sets the pace down through the corner. Pellin trying to hang tight on the outside. Settles into the number two spot while Louie and Martin battle for third. Darling clear all around for the lead. Bobby Pellin not able to hang around as good as he was last restart as Darling already starting to grow a four length lead and more. Look at Rick Martin look to the outside of Jeremy Lilly as they come back off of four. Kevin Casper down to the inside there as they come across the stripe in that battle for fourth. Lilly holding on to third looking for a good finish here tonight. Staying clean as they race down the back straightaway. Dylan Estrella trying to pass cars wholesale style as Brightman and Benoit get together here in the front straightaway. Both cars continue on. Brightman was real loose that time off of four and got together just the slightest bit with the 47 and Benoit. Those two able to settle it in as a little bit of light smoke thrown that 46. Maybe there was a little bit of damage from that running into it, the 48. Meanwhile, he has the 27 to his outside to contend with. Brightman settles behind as they come through three and four. Kevin Casper, Rick Martin, Mark Jennison beaten for position down through one and two. That is for fifth between Martin and Jennison. They've been going at it all night long as they hit turn number three. Ooh, Mark Jennison getting ever so close to that rear bumper of the Alter Northeast Alternatives 14. Oh, car around. That's the 47. Oh. Dick, Dick Benoit going around off of turn number two, the AA concrete finishing machine. As Dylan Estrella heads pit side one more time. Billy Jura has that other car involved. As Billy Jura is able to get fired back up and can circulate under yellow. 12 cars still in competition here. 10 laps to go to settle the score. Off of turn number four, they get ready to wind it up one more time. Darling and Pellin jump on the throttle. We're back underway as we head down into turn one. Pellin strong off at two, hanging tight with Darling down into turn three. Darling down low, Pellin up top off of four. A real good restart for Pellin. Could this be third time's a charm? As I say that, Dave Darling surges out ahead of Bobby Pellin, clears himself all around. As we got a slow car, Jennison slow car stacking up around goes Mike Mitchell. The accordion effect in full display. Spin and continue for Mitchell. The yellow stays in the pocket and we stay green. Mitchell kept his foot on the throttle and that all started with Mark Jennison getting loose off at of turn number two. Everybody on the binders behind him. Mike Brightman has been in and out of the pits all night long. He's been able to work himself to back up through the field, running fifth right now behind Kevin Casper. 49 laps up on the board. Darling sets the pace. Pelland is second. 
third is the three of Jeremy Lilly with Kevin Casper, Brightman, Jennison, and Martin right there in tow with five laps to go. Field starting to spread out and uh, the battle for seventh and eighth a couple laps ago. Dylan Estrella with a power move down to the inside of Dick Benoit. And Estrella continues to build the gap. Meanwhile, at the point, Dave Darling with a four car length advantage over that number 12 of Bobby Pellin as the laps wind down. 52 laps up on the board and Dave Darling on a tear one more time off of turn number four. Big looking to pick up his 91st career win here at the Action Track at East. Leads it down into three and four. Two laps to go this time by. Twin sticks in the air brought to you by Tim Bolduck. Dave Darling off and to the races as the 12 of Pellin watches that 52 water was machine get smaller and smaller. Each, each of the cars spread out as the white flag waves. One more time around the third mile, final lap down the back straightaway, Dave Darling. Career win number 91. Leads it off of turn number four. He will win the Scully Memorial. Second place to Bobby Pellin. Jeremy Lilly finishing third. Kevin Casper fourth. And Mike Brightman rounds out the top five. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Season bests for our third and fourth place finishers between Jeremy Lilly and Kevin Casper. A great job, but jumping out front at lap 13 and dominating this one to the checkered flag. How about a round of applause for Dave Darling. Career win number 91. And you were in the right place tonight, up front, because there was a lot of stuff happening behind you. Yeah, I saw some of the smoke in the rearview mirror. I just got to say um, thanks to the Scully family. Tom was a good friend at the racetrack. We had run-ins uh, every now and then, him and, his, and Tom Jr. when we were young. But he'd always, he'd always kind of make it right. Uh, great laugh, funny as a bastard, great stories. Uh, he used to come down our shop when we ran, uh, my dad ran Modifieds. He had cars built at our shop from John McKenna, so he, would, uh, he was a staple there most days. How much does this win mean to you in your career? It's great. I mean, you know, we were all stunned by Tom's loss, and the Scully family has done an amazing job to carry on the legacy. Tom Jr. is a great competitor to race with, uh, Steph and her whole family, um, you know, and they were a community in Seekonk. They owned the subway for years. Deb ran it, so, I mean, we had a lot in common. 91 career wins. Do you look back at that at all, or is it just week to week? Yeah, it's not a big deal. I'm kind of mad I forgot to put up three on my victory lap, honestly. Uh, but um, I'm, just, I'm just glad that uh, I was able to win on uh, Scully Memorial. Car was real good tonight. I know you got some people you want to thank. Yeah, car was great. Uh, I got to thank Jeff Bellier, the entire crew, uh, Waterways, Water Park. Uh, go down to the water park and cool off if we get some warm weather. Johnson Landscaping, Seacon Grand Prix, Bristol Toyota Scion, and uh, Moonshine down in Providence. Congratulations. Welcome back. Three in a row for Dave Darling. Our second point. Bobby, a good run up through the field. A couple of times you had a shot at him. Did, how much more did you need? I, I need a little bit more. We're getting better and better every week. Um, I joked with Dave. I think that's the first time he's had a try in five years. So I think we're, uh, I think we're pretty close. Obviously, Big Jeff helps us out. Um, that combination is just going to be tough to beat. He's probably the best driver ever at Seekonk, and Big Jeff's the best crew chef ever at Seekonk. Um, but I just want to thank all my guys, my dad, Louie, Louie Jr., Jay, Danny Perry, Evan, my spotter. Um, distance gives us great cars. Um, almost got wrecked tonight because people just get way too aggressive halfway through a 55 lap. It makes absolutely no sense. Um, but I said it last year, and I'll say it again. I got three cars, so we don't want to play those games. Uh, I just want to thank my sponsors, Cardinal and Company Real Estate, AA Auto Parts, Synergy Metals Recycling, Itzy & Co., Joe's Tree Service. Uh, I think we're real close, and uh, obviously, you know, this is a special race. Tom was a great guy. Um, remember when I was 14, 15, coming around the pits, just how much of an impact. Like, you would always walk up, shake your hand. He's an overall great guy. I've uh, been racing with Tommy for a long time, so it's a great family. And obviously, um, I said it earlier, I was like, if I finished second to one person tonight and it was Tom, I wouldn't be mad. So are you mad? Yeah.
Okay. <laughs> Bobby Bowen finishing second. He's been struggling for this driver. Congratulations, a good run tonight. You looks like you finally t turned the corner with this. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, it's the guys in the pits, man. It's my father, it, it's Chuck, um, John. They, these guys, they work hard. Uh, just been struggling, struggling, struggling. Car looked good tonight. You were competitive, passing cars, able to get up onto the podium and stay there. You got to feel real positive going into the rest of the season. Yeah, I'm just happy I got something to go home and scale and not have to put back all together. That makes a big difference right there. You got something to come back with. I know you got some people you want to thank. Yeah, I'd like to thank my dad, um, Chuck, John, um, Angela, she's spotting for me, my girlfriend, um, the kids. My nephew's in from Florida, he must have brought me some good luck. Haven't been this close to the front in a long time. Congratulations, welcome back to the podium. How about three ladies and gentlemen, finishing third, Jeremy Lilly, second place to Bobby Pelland, and winning the Scully Memorial, Dave Darling.